Hey everybody. So here is a review of the cheapest drop away arrow rest from Amazon. This cost me wish taxes, shipping was free, twenty dollars and like five cents. So twenty dollar drop away arrow rest. Um, it is supposed to be all metal construction. I just got in the mail today. So we'll open it up and take a look at it and get our first thoughts and go from there. So here's this drop away arrow rest. 100% metal construction. Let's take a look at the back. It's just regular cardboard description. So we'll open it up. Here we got cardboard. No instructions on how to set it up. Uh, drop away ARS, 100% metal construction, full containment ring with rubber overmolding. Attaches to downward cable, quick and easy cord length adjustment, rubber flap covers, containment ring opening to keep rubber or to keep arrow in place. Um, I guess it's made by Play It Cool. There's their web address, uh, email, made in China. Um, there is no logo on this, so that. Um, little baggie of tools and whatnot. And here is the rest itself. That's what it looks like. So we we'll look at that. We'll look at this. Open it up. Take a see what's in here. So we got felt pad for the launcher arm. Another felt pad. This is. Not felt, this is foam. Uh, I'll figure out what that's for. Some Allen keys, some bolt, your little football to attach your cables. And yeah, there's that. Uh, here's the rest itself. Uh, it is all metal, which is surprising for 20 bucks. Um, it actually looks really decent. Uh, machining's pretty good. No sharp edges, no burrs or anything. Rubber over molding on the ring, like it said. Um, bottom. That's still metal. Still metal in here. Um, the launch arm does have felt on it already. Assembly, um, but overall, it actually looks pretty good. Some windage marks, hash marks, and then got some elevation marks. So a lock nut. Once you put it on your bow, um, spring in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Actually, pretty good. It's pretty tight. So this is what you get for 20 bucks off Amazon. And to be honest, I'm quite impressed. Um, a little bit of click there. Not much. It's pretty tight. Nothing seems very loose at all. This, I do have to say, this rest looks exactly like Trophy Taker's new one they just started making um, I believe it's called the trip wire there's you can switch it back and forth to left or right handed if you want um, you can take this all apart and flip it to this side this is uh, right or left hand specific you have to order in that way but so that is the rest for 20 bucks it's not bad Looks pretty good. I did buy Trophy Taker, one of Trophy Taker's other newer rest. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it looks very much like this. Um, mounting arm is metal, but with theirs, all of this is plastic. Everything's plastic. 
Your elevation hardware is plastic. Your windage is plastic. Your containment ring is plastic. Uh, your launcher arm is plastic on theirs. Um, and it costs more than this. And it does work, but guaranteed it's going to break within a year if you're using it constantly. Um, I'm a firm believer in all metal construction. I don't care if it's heavier. I'd rather have my stuff last, and I'm actually fairly impressed with this one so far. That it's all everything on it's metal. Um, so that's the rest. Uh, I'm gonna throw it on my buddy's bow here real quick. He just he's getting into archery. He bought a real cheap bow. Came with some ancient accessories. So told him I throw this on here for him and give him a rest. It was only twenty bucks, so I'm not gonna worry about the cash. Um, I did buy two of these because for 20 bucks, why not? If it's a flop, I'm not going to, again, not worry about it. They're cheap. Um, so yeah, I'll throw it on his bow and I'll tune it up and tell you guys what I think about it and if it tunes well or not. And we'll see you guys in a bit.